Here we go then, another weekend and you guessed it, another bike race. But this weekend we are back on the flat bars and fat tyres and we're back at Matley Basin, you probably can't see. We are here for round number three of the National Points Series and I'll be stepping up to my first expert race in the National Series race. Are you excited, Brocky? No, oh, she's thrilled as you thrilled as usual. She's not had a coffee yet because I was like, I need to do an intro, then you can have a coffee. But looking at the state of the riders from yesterday, it is going to be a bit of an exciting race. It's going to be an absolute mud bath. They were covered. Ben done a little clip for me yesterday of the course in practice. Hey, I am clogging up badly. Bring your running shoes, to be honest, because I'd ride your hardtail, because that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm really excited for this so-called summer sport that is mountain biking, but we're going to go and get uh, the Rocket a coffee before. And then, oh, then we will get a smile. I'm signed on number 148 today. Oh. The conditions of the bike post-race. So <laughs> that looks disgusting. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and you just said it was fun. Yeah, still fun. Fun? <laughs> I did see a clip that Ryan sent over and it was people running up the hill over there. Yeah. You still yeah. nuts? Like, mm. Wheels didn't turn or anything. It's, yeah, they're, they're changing it a bit in the valley. It looks like they're going down and up instead of through the... Making it easier for me, nice. <laughs> <laughs> just, just what I need. Hello, coffee will be served and it's the cake one. I'm not going to, can you buy me a cake please? Can I buy you one? Yeah, treat me to a cake. Need one. Need it for the extra energy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is what we're going for, Biscoff brownie. I'll tell you what, it looks like an absolute mud bath, but she's got her coffee. She's Thank got you. her cake. The wife's treated me to a cake. Don't think I'm not taking this seriously. Cake wins race, well, I don't know if it wins races. Maybe don't win races, but it might make me get to the end of the race. Whoa, go on, smile. Oh, look at that beauty. That's what we're dealing with today. Dude, look at that. There's no clearance. Flipping it. How did, how did you even move the pedals around? How did that even turn? That is mad. When, when you got going, it wasn't too, it, it kind of literally dropped out, but the worst is when you're pushing, when you're, when you're walking, because it's that heavy you can't lift it. The paddles are whacking against your knees, but it's, yeah. There's an extra 20 kilos on there. That's why you're going so fast down the hill. Yeah, you know, just got to focus and finish today. Yeah. yeah. Top tips with Del Boy, focus, focus and, and finish. finish. Yeah. Focus Here's and today's finish. today's competition now. I've moved up to the big boy category. Yeah. I'm Joe. Is who's the other person, Joe, there? Yeah. Orange jacket, leading the expert oh. rankings nationally so far. Oh. He's he's winning the expert category, so yeah, won't see him for long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's excited today. Ooh. Me and the Rocket are going to go and have a little look at the course now, walk up there because I'm trying to decide whether to do a practice lap or not and also trying to decide whether to race the full sussa or the hardtail. What are you thinking, Dad? Probably the hardtail. Well, it does depend whether it dries up or not. Mm. It does mean I'm going to have to get Dad to change, change the old mounts over. Come on, come on, Nout Daft, send me a. <laughs> come on, Scott Sports and Nout Daft, send me a little cap. <laughs> I'm too broke. Here we go, we can get a look at a proper athlete quick. How was it? <laughs> oh, Beeb, this is a PG channel. Sorry, look how no. muddy it is. How, oh. Where did you come? I pulled out. Pulled out? I bloody high side is, and like went into loads of steam nettles, and then oh. it's just all clogging up and. Gears aren't working and anything. And that's after oh. changing. <laughs> it's like nothing's working. But oh, we were hoping that we were going to see this bike nice and clean. Nah. Pit, the pit crew's not good enough. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks miserable. Yeah. It's, it's not dry. It's not drying out at all. Not at all. No. Course inspection with the chief. The chief. Is that what we, should we call you that now, chief? 
I don't know. I don't know where that's come from with the <laughs> with with the boss, aka the rocket, and it is muddy. And before anyone says or asks in the comments, have you got a chain catcher yet? No, no I, I haven't. Because <laughs> I just haven't had time, right? Oh, no, Life. Life's been too full on to get a chain catcher. So when my chain comes off today and I'm crying about it, I've only got myself to blame. But they don't know whether they're going to like change in bits of the course because even a rocket in a lovely Wellington boots is struggling with these conditions. But oh, that's going to be disgusting. Yeah, it's oh, it's. I thought we were done with all this mud now after the cross oh, no, season. I cleaned my wellies off last weekend thinking that's it. You thought it was over. Winter. Thing is, it's going to be like 20 degrees for my race. That's tropical in the UK. That's Bahamas weather. Oh, this is interesting. You can see where people are trying to just, you know, green grass is, is grip. Grass is grip. Green is grip. Grass is grip. Grass is grip. And you just slipped. I don't think we need to see much more rocket. Right. Full suspension or hardtail for an athlete like yourself? I don't know, George. Just pick one. I don't know the difference. Will you ride a hardtail? Hard. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a bit aggressive. <laughs> it really is going to be slip and slide through this like off camber section through the woods. It's amazing to think I'm going to pop in some footage now of when we raced it a couple of months ago in March. It was pretty much dry all through here and really fast fast and dry and it's now an absolute slip and slide fest this action cam with the rocket how's she gonna tackle this off camber corner look at that Whew. oh god oh techers easy look that's the severity of the mud when the rocket can't handle it on foot dangerous look you're gonna get in this little rut how much for you to sign up now and race? There's no entry on the day, but just say, give me a number. Half a mil. Half a mil? <laughs> yeah. Right, if there's a link below for the GoFundMe, <laughs> if we all put in, well, what? I've got two oh, thousand, yeah. all, all, all the thousand views I get, we'll need to put at least 50 grand ahead to get the rocket to race. <laughs> oh no. Right here is the worst part of the course. I remember this vividly. The pain of going, the camera doesn't do this justice. This is steep, isn't it, Rocket? This is Mount Everest steep. And she's panting. That's why she's trying to get away from the camera. What's <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, Oh, We made it. That is going to suck in a bit. Oh, God. At last, the sun is out. We've got one third of Team Forfear. Luke doesn't know this yet. I'm going to try and get him involved in a YouTube video because Luke's in the elite category. And I want to do a little me versus him. I want to see how good you've got to be to be elite. So he doesn't know this yet, but he's going to be roped in at some point. But ready for today? Uh, I'm kind of a bit pissed off with courses which are constantly muddy and wet, but that's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, typical fair, fair weather cyclist, isn't he? But exactly. Luke's starting should be two minutes ahead of me so when i go past him just leave me some space <laughs> i'll go come past you with an almond croissant <laughs> oh yeah that's that's what i need one dangling down in front of me but as you can see luke's not doing a practice lap he's an elite cyclist so my kids are I'm, yeah lap. i'm not doing a practice lap i don't think we need to we've both raced here before dale thoughts on that Oh, big, big mistake not to go out and practice, you know that. <laughs> Especially after my little laugh last weekend. Anyway, I'm not allowed to say anything, I got told off for swearing. So. Oh yeah, Dad swore in the last video, I forgot to beep it out. Disgraceful human. Sorry. Fruity language. I'm going to race the hardtail today. Um, weight gains, you know. Which one yeah. makes you less of a chopper? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fighting talk. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna see this sharp elbow when i go past him in two hours time oosh look at this the opponent for today <laughs> is coming over to check out the spec on the bike hard tail. not that yeah i'm racing the hard tail right, yeah the hard it's the good option see i've seen seen someone that podiums in my categories <laughs> on the on the hard tail so i'm going for it here he is del boy's golden boy how are you feeling today yeah good good to go where are you thinking today i'd like a top 10 to be top fair. 10 i'm feeling all right 
I got the right. Leg, his legs have recovered after the Shell City from. <laughs> Half recovered. Half recovered after the Shell City from the road race. But other than that, I've got the right tyres on, which they'll be disclosed on the start line. They're, they're top secret till then. Oh, yeah. Dad was up till half ten last night. Like, you came here, didn't you? And then he wanted different tyres. Of course, Dad drove him home. Um, you're on the hardtail, aren't you? Yeah, hardtail. So, we're both both going to race on the hardtail. I'm a bit nervous about it, because I haven't like raced on it. But... I don't know, There's, it's not technical, so I don't think it's going to make much difference for me. I'm gridded last in my race, because obviously it's my first expert one, so if I finish higher than that, I've done all right. Where are you gridded? 13. 13. 73. 73. It's going to be painful out there. It looks like it's dried up a bit, though. What are you expecting from me? Top top one? Top two? Uh, I want to say there might be like... 30 but i might be making that up top 10 top 10 <laughs> she's a, she's hopeful well, i assumed it was going to be a great day because the fact you got me out of bed at 8 a.m and your race isn't until like 3 30 whatever yeah i was excited i was excited it's almost go time the maggots getting in the zone me i am bricking it can you just quieten down your rollers a bit here i'm trying to trying to Keep people entertained. There, that's better. Me, I'm bricking it. I'm going to be on the same course as these elite choppers, as they like to call themselves, elite boys. I'm also going to be on the same course as like Joe Blackmore. I've been told actually watches some of the videos, so I've made it. People, the best best mountain biker in the country has watched one of my videos. I can go home now, Dell. See, it, I've made it. Are we done? Yeah, we're done, Dell. I made it. Thank God for that. <laughs> But I've got more gels this week because last time I was cramp central, not that the wife cared, so I'm going to be gelled up to my eyeballs. I'm going to get on warm up in a second with a maggot and then uh, it's going to be show time. I checked it after. Good job I didn't take it. It went out of date in 2013. There it is. Yeah, look, he's trying to palm it off on Beth now. When's that gel go out of date? It's 2017. 2017! <laughs> that's that's best soon. Buy, not used by, isn't it? I mean, do they ever go off? You would be in the toilet when that's all 2013 well, counting out. Around a bit quicker. <laughs> be absolutely wired. It's probably got it's fermented it's caffeine it's in it. Honestly, I had one the other day. I had one the other day. I would take some of that. What, to go and pit? Um, <laughs> you ain't gonna die with that stuff, are you? I mean, it just doesn't go off, does it? So, Ryan raced yesterday. Look, he's like, he's giving it the, the usual one. Oh, we got it so much harder. Oh, yeah. That's popping an energy gel to go in the pits. Oh, if you want some, I'll give it you. Got any tips for today, Ryan? We've got half the course today. Ah, half the course. I've heard it all. Here we go. It was so much hard for us. Yeah. It was so hard in the sport category. <laughs> <laughs> That's his first race this year that he ain't cramped, to be fair.
but not part of the top five. Here. Oh, that hurt. Uh, yeah, I thought. Well, you were well up there. The front boys had a big gap in yeah, there. Yeah, first was. Like, it was the start. Like, honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't have moved up at all. I was sprinting with everything I had. And, like, I was terrible through the single track. But I was just right, alright. Yeah. Yeah, but not like what you are. Like, that's probably, like, before I said to Sarah, I didn't want to, like, jinx myself on, on the camera, but I'd, like, I feel really good today. So I've been struggling with sleep recently, yeah. and, like, just turning up to races, feeling really fatigued, and I managed to sleep till half, I know it sounds yeah. sick, but still <laughs> half seven this morning. <gasps> I was in the hotel man. without my kids, so, like, I slept <laughs> until about eight. <laughs> I woke up and then and then I got up at half seven and like I was like, Sarah, wakey wakey, <laughs> come on. She was like, you're racing till three thirty. I want to go and look. <laughs> Woo boy, we survived. How'd it go, boss? Eight four nine. Eight four nine. So top ten, like he said. Honestly, I'm not going to big myself up too much. That's the best performance I've had on a bike and the hardtail was the right choice. Dad's like grinning now that I'm saying that. But before the race, I didn't want to say to the rocket. I said off camera I was like oh I'm feeling quite good today I think Ben heard me say it as well because I managed to sleep in till half seven what a result <laughs> but oh I'll tell you what that was brutal impressed Del with us yeah I'm just having me energy bar <laughs> <laughs> it was hard it was hard working pits yeah, dad, dad gave me a chew on my one, one one lap and I think I need to stick to gels. I shoved it in and I was like, oh God, I'm going to choke on a jelly sweet here. Goes past, but, I want the jelly sweet. <laughs> you didn't even tell me you had one. Oh yeah, I put them in the little little tub for him. Or oh, I didn't cramp this time either. Get in. Honestly, what a day. I'm absolutely buzzing with that result. Sixth place for me. And that is probably my best race this year. Like just to still keep pushing at the end and come away with sixth place. I'm super happy with that. I was gridded last. I was so nervous to be on the start line with those boys. So it feels nice to actually feel like I was in the race and giving it some. Ronald's cooked for us tonight because uh, the old wife was not up for cooking. And apparently we're not in the 60s anymore. So we share the cooking, and I didn't want to cook either. <laughs> so, so Ronald's cooked, proper athletes. I've got my, we've got our things still as mm. well, haven't we, from that cake van. But I'm absolutely over the moon. I feel like all the training and that I've put in has, I don't know, I feel really good. I'm really proud of myself today. So you should so be. So I should be. Well sick. Done. Thank you, Rocket. She's not allowed to be on camera. But the elite boys went past me. Uh, when when Joe Blackmore went past me, it was like a speed train. It was ridiculous, but I'm super happy of that. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to smash this back, and now we are back to work to see if I can break into that top five at one of the rounds. That would be quite nice. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.